Hey, good afternoon everyone. Uh, for this session, I'm going to show you a demo uh, how to use the IX uh, load Excel modules all right, to test our SRX uh, 5400. Okay. So uh, in this case, uh, let me run through with you on the topology. All right. Topology is very straightforward. So basically, I have the Excel tester all right, loaded with uh, IX load module and I have uh, two ports all right, which is a 10 gig interface so uh, port uh, 185 and uh, port 186 all right. uh, 186 uh, will be connecting to my firewall uh, 10 gig interface XE003 all right. so this is configured as an untrust zone and for the other side of the firewall which is a trust zone XE002 all right. uh, this is uh, connecting to my ASIA uh, 185 port okay. And the policy is currently policy very simple. Trust or untrust. Similarly, I also have a uh, untrust trust, which I provide uh, permits. All right, for any application, any destinations. All right, and I also apply the IPS intrusion detection prevention signatures. All right, using recommended uh, sets. Okay, the right side is just the credentials or login account. All right, the permit to access to the ACL as well as to my SRS configurations, and for the left side right i have the tra traffic supposed to be uh, and apply to my excel configuration so i will be using the http all right uh, the throughput is up to you all right based on the customer requirements and the uh, specification of my hardware firewall hardware all right is uh srx 54 with one spc service uh, uh spc2 service module and also using the uh, SCB3 switching board, all right. Uh, and on the IO card, I have the MPC with mix, uh, mix card, uh, 10 times 10 G, all right. So I'll be using this uh, connecting to my uh, ACL port. For the license, I have an IPS and antivirus license enabled, all right. So over here, um, uh, these are just some commands that you may need to use for troubleshooting purpose, all right. Uh, let's take a look at my SRS configuration. Okay, uh, you want to look at uh, configuration. Sometimes uh, you may uh, start at uh, whether uh, in some ho some house, all right, uh, why uh, traffic is not uh, sending into the uh, uh, into the firewalls or the file did not receive any information. All right, so I'll show you some of the troubleshooting uh, uh, command. All right, so before that, let's take a look at the firewall policies. All right, so we're gonna uh, take a look at the firewall policy. I just uh, go to the zone. Okay. Okay, I have uh, basically I have untrust zone. I have uh, XE003 associated to my untrust zone. Okay, and then at the same time a trust I have a XE interface XE002 associated to this trust zone. Alright, so this is basically the firewall zone that I'll be using. And uh, if I want to take a look at my uh, 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 security policy, alright. So my policy I'm using uh, trust to untrust or from zone uh, untrust to trust. So this one is over here, okay. So I have untrust to trust, okay. Uh, source to destination is any any address, and then application apply to any. At the same time, I also apply the uh, intrusion detection prevention uh, service, okay, onto this uh, uh, pol firewall policies, okay. And I also have another policies trust to untrust, okay. Uh, apply to uh, any source, any destination, any uh, source address, all right, and any applications, all right, and also apply, apply the IPS or services. Okay. Um, if I take a look at my uh, IDP policy, all right, so this is a, uh, uh, there are quite a lot of signatures applied, but I'm using the recommended signature set, all right. Mm. Okay. So if I want to see whether my um, how about my uh, run interface? All right, okay. So I have a uh, XE two con configured with a uh, ten twenty ten two five four gateway IP address, and then uh, XE three then twenty twenty two five four class uh, C twenty uh, uh, mouse for uh, twenty four. All right. So remember remember this. Okay. So at the same time, if I'm connecting to my uh, Excel, I will also want to check on my apps. Um, uh, Alright, so run show up. So I have a uh, 10, 20. Uh, this is my Excel IP address. Alright, then uh, I can also take a look at the uh, 10, 10 as well. Alright, so there's a lot of uh, uh, information going on here. So, okay. Now, let me show you how to configure the ACL. All 
All right. Basically, uh, just go to config. Okay. So in configuration, what you need to uh, take care is the network and traffic. All right. So in network in, in traffic, you have a designated uh, 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 source and then you have the terminated destination. All right. So you're going to create two different network. All right. Uh, network one on my originated. All right. So I add in traffic. Okay. So you can actually add in a list of traffic that you want. You have uh, attack traffic, something like DDoS attack, etc. You have a uh, uh, layer applications, uh, layer seven applications, uh, inf uh, protocols. All right. So I apply the uh, HTTP client. All right. So the client will send response. I uh, mean the request, and then the server side will be on the network two. All right. Again, I have the uh, HTTP uh, servers as a, uh, as a service. All right. Responding to the originate or or originate uh, request. All right. In between here. Okay, device or user test, right? Over here, you don't need to uh, configure anything. All right, basically, you just need to uh, drag the tra uh, traffic from the uh, network one to network two. So again, if I show you, okay, why I want to add uh, FTP, all right, FTP client. Okay, and over here, I'll add in a uh, uh, FTP uh, server. All right, so uh, in order to create a traffic across, I right, just drag. Very simple, all right. So in between, you don't need to actually configure uh, uh, the SX firewall, all right. Let me remove this uh, traffic, FTP traffic. I just want to test the HTTP client. I mean HTTP uh, protocols. Okay. So next one you need to configure is the timeline, all right. Okay. So timeline important point here is all right. Um, the the max size. Okay, all right. The throughput. So by default, I think hundred meg. So again, right now, it's, uh, con let's configure a bit higher. Two. Two gig. All right for a throughput. Okay, I think that's all you need to do. All right, and then come back to the port. Uh, after that, uh, they sustain. All right, so I may want to have a longer, uh, duration. Maybe uh, one minutes and thirty second. All right. Okay, so remember to change change this. All right, so that uh, you give a uh, MB of time for the uh, IS load. All right, to pump up the traffic. All right, then the port. Port I'm using uh, XL 185 and 186 are right, connecting to uh, directly to my SRX. All right, so this is you need to assign. You just drag and drop from the left windows to the right windows. All right, uh, associated to the uh, respective networks that you want. Okay. Um, one more thing, all right. Uh, let's go back to the uh, network traffic, all right. Um, network one, all right. You go to IP, okay. What is important here is the IP address, all right, for that network interface, okay, which is the network interface, all right, connecting to my SRX, okay. So over here is a trust zone, so it's a ten twenty ten, all right. Then gateway, remember to con configure the gateway, it's a two five four, which is my uh, SRX gateway, and then the Mass is important, all right, 24 gig bit, all right. Similarly to the uh, the receiver, the network 2, all right, okay, I have the IP address which is uh, 2020, all right, uh, dot 1, okay, and then in the mass of 24, the gateway, which is my SRS gateway, all right, so this is a, a untrusted zone, all right, and at the same time, let's take a look at uh, the HTTP, all right, I miss out this part, this one is also quite important, okay. Um, if you use HTTP, uh, default is go to one byte. One byte, you have issues. If you enable uh, IPS, it may drop all the packet because it may treat it as a malicious HTTP packet with process one byte. All right. So remember to ch change this. Unless you have uh, no traffic passing through the SRX, if you have IPS enabled. So what I'm going to do is let me apply. All right. Maybe why not try to increase it to to something something. All right. How about this one? Okay. Alright. So after the configuration, alright, you just need to remember apply configuration. That's all. Alright. So wait for it to to change. Uh, to apply. Okay. There's a status here. Configuring the uh IS uh, load configuration. Alright. And right now it's turned to green color. That means you can proceed to do the test. Alright. So let's start to uh let's start to uh click on the uh start packet. Test okay. Let me do a test now. All right, okay. So over here, I create 
and I wait, alright. It showed me the previous uh, windows and I'm going to uh, it's going to apply the configuration and it will load in the test config and it pump up the traffic. Okay. Okay. So the packet the traffic is ramping up. Alright, let's uh move on to my SRX. What do I see? Alright, if I load into my um, monitor status, okay, to make sure that uh, there's a traffic going to my interface. Okay, and you see the traffic is uh going up. All right. Okay. This thing you can actually use the other command you can check is uh, show uh, security policy. All right. Uh, heat count. Okay. Then you can refresh it. All right. So you can see the heat count right now is twelve million. All right. Six one two six. All right. So later on I see okay, now it's increasing one two six six four. All right. So it keep, uh, uh, it's refreshing. Okay, so the pack, the traffic is going to my firewall pol hit into my firewall policies. Next one you want to see is a show security flow session. Okay, and I use full command. All right. So this is a traffic going into my firewall. All right. Okay. Uh, so that's all I need to uh to check that ensure that the traffic going to my firewall is working and hit the right policies. All right. Go back to my Excel. Okay. So how much you can throw? Wow, is 2 gig here, mm, not bad, alright. So this uh so you want to uh increase the throughput, alright, you just go back to the uh the timeline and objective, you can set the, the throughput you want to state. But just bear in mind that um uh, different Excel line cards okay has different performance capabilities, alright. So depend on the CPU uh being uh, uh being used, alright. Some uh, line card may not be uh, able to push up more than uh, 10 gig alright or even one gig uh traffic. So it up uh that may be a limitation on on the on the system and also the the every protocol you want to pay, uh apply or right, will require license so in this case i'll just only use the http so these are some of the issues you, you want to take note all right so i think that's all that i can show you to you in this uh, quick startup i right, hope it can it will be useful for you if you are if you are first time users uh on the ix uh load all right uh, this will give you a quick start. Within five minutes, you can uh, provide the uh, reports or right, for your customers. All right. Thank you for watching and have a good time. Bye bye.